Hello beautiful people, this is the woman who speaks Celestia and welcome back to my channel for my whole moody goodies and welcome to the newbies. And as I mentioned, if you are a new one here, don't forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button that you can be subscribed to the channel because I upload a video, two videos per week. So you might find something each and every week that you come back. And for my whole moody goodies, welcome welcome and thank you for your support guys i truly appreciate you because it is hard to find some good subscribers thank you for still sticking with me um through it all and i really appreciate your effort by either liking sharing commenting subscribing to my channel i truly appreciate you guys and i love you so much and on this video guys i will talk about my natural hair because i have a request from a one of my subscribers telling me if I can talk a little bit about my hair journey because as I mentioned previously in one of my other video I've been natural for the past six years now almost six years because it will be six years in December and my hair has have never been that healthy and um, I really like the way it turns out right now uh, my hair is healthier it is stronger it is fuller and when I had perm, my hair was like a garbage, basically. So right now, I really like it. And um, what I realized for the past two years, because I gave birth um, to my daughter almost two years and a half ago, and um, my hair is kind of like, hmm, not the same way, um, not as healthy as it has been for the past five years. So um, I'm trying to readjust my routine and my product and stuff. I don't really use a lot of product on my hair. I will only use my um, Aussie brands for shampoo, conditioner, dip conditioner, and the list goes on. And I also use my um, bamboo for conditioning my hair. I don't, I don't really use that much product in my hair. So um, the first tip I have for you guys Tip I have for you guys is to use less heat in your hair because the more heat you apply the more damage he can do to your hair um, if you don't use the proper technique to do it because some people just blow drying their hair without knowing to add any protective um, protectant before they blow drying their hair or they don't really know how the proper way to do so so if you're not well aware of what to do, don't do it. Um, contact a specialist that they can do it for you. Not every specialist are good, but find yourself a good specialist to do it for you instead of you doing it uh, um, for yourself. But if you do, how, if you know how to do it, just be my guest. Do your big. That's what I do. I don't let nobody do my hair. It's been like, like I said, almost six years. And um, I only go to a uh, beautician if I have to go to a specific occasion. And yeah. Third tip will be to massage your scalp, guys. Um, massaging your scalp helps you with blood circulation. So the more you massage, I don't say vigorously to go like, you know, deep with your nails. No with the tips of your finger you just massage your scalp if you cannot do it every day you can do it every other day let's say you do it today you don't do it tomorrow you do it, you do it the day after tomorrow that's what i mean by every other day so you massage your scalp um nightly would be the perfect time because like you know you're going to sleep and your scalp will be resting so you can add um, some um oil in your tips and you just go ahead not in your hair guys your scalp yes you massage your scalp at least twice um, every other day like I said that will help with blood circulation and it will help your hair grow not faster but you know it will help it grow and um, the fourth tip tip will be to oil your scalp because if your scalp is not moisturize enough you want to help your hair grow right and what i mean by that when you're looking at your skin if your skin do you like ashy skin i don't like ashy skin mm -mm, i don't it doesn't look nice 
so it is the same way for your scalp like when you have a person sitting next to you seeing all this dandruff in your scalp that mm, that gross it is gross so guys you have to moisturize your scalp if you cannot do it every night do it at least three times a week that would be good enough for you. and the next one will be about uh, protective style and what protective styles are is when you don't manipulate your hair for at least a period of time like a week or so a month two months three months that's what protective style is so it could be um wear wigs if you like wigs wear braids if you like braids not too tight because the tighter is the braid the more damage it will cause so you might have don't think if you go to a um, braider and you ask them to braid your hair the tighter the braid is is the the longer it will stay on your hair no that's not how it works it will give you a headache first of all and your scalp will be like in pain if you have a tight braid so you have to do it in a way not to make more damage but to help you in the process so i mentioned wigs braids and twist out it can be two, two, two strength twist three strength strength twist so whatever it is for you to leave your hair on a stage for a couple days or, or more that's what protective styles are so uh for me as for me i use a lot i, I use wig a lot i don't braid my hair too often and you can do um the crochet braid as well where you feel like comfortable doing you have to leave your hair to relax at least when you're tired do you keep on going no you're not you just need a break so that's the same way for your hair as your body asking for a break your hair sometimes is asking you for a break without without knowing so you have to give your hair a break and the next one will be my next tip will be um, have a healthy diet when I say a healthy diet is something that everybody's body everyone's body are different so find something that works for you don't look at marjorie and think oh, her body is better than you or look at patricia and tell her no everybody is different on their own um on their own way in their own way so find what works for you if you want to have a healthy diet um because when you come di from different ethnicity or background it is different to to follow somebody else's diet or whatever it might happen so find what, what works for you but it must be a healthy diet you have to eat your vegetables you have to eat your um, fruits you have to drink a lot of water and most of the fruits that you're gonna um, put on your body they will contain some type of water so that will help with tip would be to avoid stress i know we are living in a world that it is stressful but you might find something to help you with the stress either by going out with your friends have a drink or chillaxing in your house watching a movie with your family or friends and stuff find a way to um to to be less stressful than it used to be and um, while I'm saying this if you can get at least eight hours of sleep it will be helpful too with um, for your whole body not only for your hair for your whole body and while sleeping use satin bonnet or um, pillowcases because the cotton um, is drying the oil out of your hair meanwhile the satin products will keep the moisture into your hair to help your hair grow and it will be eff um, efficacious for your skin as well because when you have something in your hair um, the oil that is in your hair is not gonna transfer into your skin because when you're sleeping you're turning around you're moving all over so let's say you were on that side you have to flip over so yeah and when you have a 
a bonnet on your head it is better it helps your hair from uh, um, from tangling it helps it um, keeps the moisture and onto your hair instead of transferring it to your pillowcases and stuff so yes guys let me go over everything that I've been saying so far um, as my tip that helps me with my hair first was use less heat on your hair and the second one you oops sorry the second one was to tip style then balance um diet then um you um be less stressful have enough sleep and drink a lot of water and um i also talk about um do hot oil treatment and stuff massage your scalp um daily cut your brittle hair the one that doesn't do anything to your hair that damage your hair more and um what else did i mention guys <laughs> what did <laughs> you have to moisturize your hair and i I'll talk about all of this and use protective style such as braiding wigs weaves and stuff and um if you find anything helpful through that video let me know down below and you can also tell me what you do to help your hair stay um you know in a good state and i think that's what i have for you today guys and i truly love you and i will see you on my next bye bye loves bye